you watch when the handle is pulled down. <laughs> So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make like the trip wire alarm again out of the rape alarm this time we're going to do it so it's easier to set up because on the other one what you would need to do you'd have to have this you could have your string already attached to the pull cord but you'd have to carry with you a screwdriver screws or duct tape and try and set it up so we're going to make a little kind of holder for it what you can just place on the tree or whatever you're doing it on and then just attach it on and it's already done so all you're going to need is what i've got is some hdpe which is this is from a thick oil can and cable ties you probably get away with maybe string or elastic bands Cable ties, some string, and something to cut it with and make holes and stuff. So you could use a knife or a drill. I'll just cut this out with this. Oh, and you're going to need a lighter or a heat gun. Well, I was just trying to think of doing this in a way that anybody could do it. So this is all kind of like easy tools to use or get hold of, you know, knife for making holes or Leatherman multi-tool. <coughs> Got that off of bugging in. Right. So, first of all, we've got the rape alarm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat part of this up and just bend it over. So I'm just going to do that by just running the flame over it with the lighter, it shouldn't take much of a lighter heat gun would probably do it quicker A lighter will work. Actually, I'm going to put that there. So we've got that like that now. Now what we want to do is lay the alarm on like this and we're going to make a hole. So this part, let me zoom in a bit and get this a bit better. So this part of the alarm, the bit that comes out, is going through a hole here. I'm just going to do this with the knife. Relatively easy.
so it will sit like that this way that if sorry keep putting it out of shot if you've got this bit sticking up like this if the alarm gets triggered and it's attached it definitely won't pull the alarm away it will stay there so we're just going to make that slightly bigger Don't have to be precise as long as it as long as it won't come through the hole. You can always trim this up a bit later. Now, what you want to do is mark four, four holes at first. Let me get this up here a bit. Now, what we're going to do is mark four holes, and this is for cable ties to hold. The alarm in place. We'll trim this up later. So that's that. Let's put this in there. Mark one, two, three, four. Now you just want to make them big enough that your cable ties will go through. Like I said, you could use a drill if you've got one, but I thought if I did it like this, anyone could do it then. Anyone should be able to get hold of a knife. Because you could wire this if you had wire. And hopefully, the cable ties are going to be long enough. not you can always double them up and these are undoable cable ties so stick your alarm in These are going to reach. Well, what I want to do is I should actually have this That'd be better there on the outside. So 
So I'll put my, I'll put the pin in when it's in there. It's a good thing about these undoable cable ties is if you get it wrong, at least you can redo it again. Now I'm going to do the back one up tight. And the front one. Just about got it. Now, if you're not sure that's going to hold, you can always put one more cable tie, if you've got a big enough one, going through there like that, to hold it together. I'll loosen that one off a bit. See what I mean by the middle one? To just to hold it in place. Trim this one off. And to save waste in these two by cutting them off, we'll just keep that there like that. Now, on this alarm it's got this little thing here this little tab and you pull the tab out you can't really see it because it's like see through but there's a little tab there and it's just disconnecting the batteries see it there pull that out and then the alarm's ready so we'll just see so someone comes along well that needs to be slightly adjusted I'm going to change caught in it Typical. So just got to cut this down a little bit lower here. To be honest, how tight these cable ties are. I don't think it's going to need, may not need this part, these cables are going to hold it, but just in case, so someone comes along, yeah, so I'll just trim this up a little bit, Now all we've got to do in a second is just do four more holes. I'm just tightening up this ring here. That's why they come undone. Four more holes and that all that is is just so it can be attached to something 
either with cable ties, string or wire. And this will be like your mounting points. I'm going to trim these off. They can be trimmed off there, it ain't going to matter anyway because there's nothing on that part. as well as these four holes all we've then got to do is attach our string to the pin and then we're near enough ready to go you can carry that in a bag and then when you need it you just got to pull it out and attach it to whatever you want to attach it to which could be using four screws <laughs> just what I said about in there to attach it to something like a door frame but it's quicker you haven't got a, you know what I mean you know it's just there ready to go or a tree or a post or something depends on how long you want your trip wire and how invisible you could use fishing line If you didn't want it like that, alternatively, you could just attach, attach it straight to there, to that small ring. We'll put that back in there, wrap this round, and there's your alarm ready to go. I'll just pull the tab out, actually I'll undo some this, and you know how it goes, so across a doorway, or anywhere like that, that's out now, and then someone comes through, And then like this. You want to keep that little tab. When you're not using it, put that back in there. And that way if you accidentally trigger it while it's in your bag or anything, I can go off. Right. Right, I've just set it up on this door just to show you. So it's attached there at the handle, goes up and up to a pipe there. Just a different way of doing it. I'll bring this back so you can see the entire thing hopefully.
just try to get this camera back. Hopefully this will stay it. So when the handle's pulled down, it'll pull the pin out and set the alarm off. So pull your little tab out. Then you watch when the handle's pulled down. One more time, someone pulls the handle down to come in. Right, so you can set that up as a trip wire, door handles, you can set it up so anything that opens and pulls that pin out, then it'll work like that. But anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.